Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, I hope you're all well. In continuation with this identity series, I want to talk about society today. And why is it important for us to be able to identify with the society that we're living? Or is it important that we identify with the society that we live in. Quite frankly, I don't know the answer, but I will throw in a little question sort of partway through this video, and I'll be interested to hear what you have to say when you put your comments in the comments box. Now, let's have a look at this. We've already spoken about identity as recognizing the criteria that makes up the cake, as in the first video, and what we believe in ourselves that says, oh, I know what that is. I know how that feels. I identify because we are running parallel, right? If you haven't watched it, go watch the first video. Then we spoke about family, and now I want to talk about society. Now, here's the thing. In society, you will find little pockets of little communities in the town, the village, the city that you live in. And you will find that two neighboring communities might have completely different attitudes towards certain things, sport, the police, the economy, the local MP, whatever the case might be. It makes a difference. But each little pocket of your area that you live in will have its own culture, its own traditions, its own little series of beliefs. And if you take the city where I come from, you've got opposing soccer or football teams and the culture in this small town that i come from is that these two are arch enemies because it's the opposite side of the city and they do not identify with each other, the football teams, the soccer teams. They don't identify with each other. And most certainly, the fans, in spite of potentially working in the same company or the same industry, do not identify with each other. Because of the love for their sport or their sporting team. Now, the society that you live in, why do you live there? What is the criteria of that area that makes you go, I want to live here? Compared to, say, living at the other end of that village town or city for argument's sake what is the ingredients of the cake of where you live that you say i feel at home here now i did say to you i'm going to ask you a interesting question here it is When we look at society and we look at people, now, you might say that some are a little bit strange, because they are. And you might say that others are okay. Yes, because they are. But in every society, these little pockets, you'll always find a rebel. Someone that decides that they're going to go against the flow and not necessarily with it, even if it might not necessarily be against the flow completely or like this, but they might go against the flow by going slightly adrift. 
but yet they enjoy living in this little pocket of the community where they do. I find it bizarre. I know of someone who lives in a particular country and when I speak to family members it is told to me that the daughter identifies not just or doesn't identify let's get the facts right doesn't just identify with where she lives she doesn't identify with the state that she lives in fact she doesn't necessarily identify with the country where she lives interesting as the story goes the daughter feels more at home or believes she feels more at home in a country where she's never even been how interesting is that probably because somewhere the identification of the country where she's at is not quite as congruent as the country where she's never been interesting I would like to have a conversation with that individual at some point to try and work out why that is and how she came to that particular conclusion so in one sense that is the extreme of a non-identity but yet still is the the place of residence so here's my question again it is why do you live where you live what makes up the cake of that community what are those ingredients that you say or you believe and feel I feel at home here let me tell you a true story about myself as you know I come from South Africa and whilst I was living there I felt very much at home very much and a great number of years ago I moved over to England where I live now and within six months England started to feel like home albeit that I would still refer and I still do refer to South Africa as my country my people and yet I live in England feeling probably as much at home here than what I did when I was in South Africa so in one sense I have two homes two communities which I refer to as home interesting and I base it on choice and lifestyle I would like to hear your comments in the comments box regarding your choices as to why you live where you live I'm not particularly interested in where you live just why you live there and not somewhere else as always please do the YouTube admin the share the subscribe the comment the bell pick all you know you know what to do for now this is Mark from Carlos Works. I'll speak to you soon